Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we've got one more day of unseasonably warm weather in store for us today as we'll see those high temperatures push into the mid to upper 80s. It'll be about 15 degrees warmer than what we normally see this time of year. Looking at the conditions yesterday across the region, we saw high temperatures generally running in the mid to upper 80s. We did see Richmond all the way up to 90 degrees, 88 degrees here at Wallops. And as you can see, mid to upper 80s throughout many locations across the region. Tidewater region showing uh, daytime highs of 87 degrees at Newport News and 86 at Norfolk. Overnight last night, temperatures in the 60s for most locations. We were the warmest in the region, only getting down to 70 degrees. Dover the coolest of the reporting stations getting down to 61 degrees. No measurable precipitation over the last 24 hours. And as of 9 a.m., we see sunny skies throughout most of the mid-Atlantic region this morning, Baltimore reporting cloudy skies, but everybody else uh, seeing lots of sunshine out there, 76 degrees under mostly sunny skies here at Wallops. Looking at our sounding information from this morning's balloon release, the freezing level was at 14,100 feet, and our winds generally out of a southwesterly direction at the low levels of the atmosphere, then becoming more northwesterly as we go up in height so we get up to 25,000 feet, we see that northwesterly wind at 17 knots. Taking a look at our infrared satellite, you can see the colder cloud tops well off to our north and west, uh, beginning to enter the uh, state of Pennsylvania, associated with a cold front that will be moving through the region overnight tonight into the morning hours of Friday. That'll bring some more cloudiness to our region uh, during the Friday-Saturday time period, and will also bring some cooler conditions as well. Those temperatures will likely drop about 10 to 15 degrees um, as we go into Friday and Saturday, but that will be pretty close to normal for this time of year as we'll see those high temperatures in the mid 70s. Looking at our radar real quick, no uh, precipitation in our general vicinity, and we're gonna continue to remain dry throughout the day today. We'll see a slight chance of some light rain showers as that frontal boundary moves closer to our region after midnight tonight, but we will see most of that shower and thunderstorm activity start to uh, decrease in intensity as it makes its way off to the south and the east. Looking at our forecast maps, what we can expect over the na next couple of days, you can see by the midday portion of Thursday, that frontal boundary is still in Pennsylvania. As we go into the evening hours, you see that front dropping south over the region. A few scattered showers still along that front as it moves through around midnight tonight. We'll see a chance of some light rain showers and uh, continue that chance until about 4 a.m. But they're going to be widely scattered and uh, beginning to weaken pretty quickly as they move through. So looking at less than a 15% chance of any kind of rain shower activity overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, that front will drop south of our region. We'll see the winds turn northeasterly in direction, and those temperatures will uh, be limited as to uh, how high they can climb tomorrow during the day. We'll likely start off the morning at around 70 degrees and only make it to about 75 degrees as we'll see plenty of clouds northeasterly flow in here uh, for the day on Friday. Friday evening, that front pushes a little farther south. And then as we go into Saturday, we'll start to see the uh, front wash out a bit and uh, dissipate over the region. We'll see high pressure reestablish itself over the area as we go into the end of the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Taking a look at the next 24 hours, you're going to see partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies continue through the day today. Those highs pushing into the upper 80s here at Wallops, 88 degrees, the forecasted high temperature for this afternoon. Overnight tonight, we'll see the clouds increase as that front drops south of the region. Mostly cloudy skies expected overnight tonight, and then we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions by tomorrow morning with the low temperatures falling to around 70 by 8 a.m. tomorrow. Looking at our winds for today, we'll start out the day uh, with those winds generally out of a southerly direction. We'll turn more southwesterly in direction as we go into the afternoon today ahead of that front. And as that front draws closer to the region, we'll see the uh, winds turn out of the north after midnight tonight at about 5 to 10 knots, and then out of the northeast by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, increasing to around 9 to 14 knots. Again, we'll see a slight chance of a few sprinkles between midnight and about 4 a.m., not expecting anything significant as far as precipitation goes, so, but only about a 15% or less chance of that precipitation occurring. So we go through the day on Friday and Saturday, mostly cloudy to overcast conditions expected for Friday. It will be cooler with those onshore breezes 
with a high temperature of 75. For Friday night, mostly cloudy to overcast with a low of 67. And then for Saturday, cloudy skies becoming mostly cloudy during the afternoon with the daytime high of 76. The only uh, hazard that we could see are some low cloud ceilings, especially during the uh, morning hours of Friday as that front moves through the region. So for the next seven days, looking at the uh, cloudy conditions expected for Friday, mostly cloudy to overcast conditions expected Saturday, especially during the morning hours. And then we could see those clouds begin to decrease Saturday afternoon as that front uh, washes out over our area and high pressure begins to rebuild over the region. We'll see temperatures generally in the mid 70s for Friday and Saturday before warming up into the low 80s again. So unseasonably warm conditions expected to continue uh, as we get into the late portions of the weekend and into the beginning of next week where we'll see those highs right around 80 degrees. Again, we're expected to be around uh, 73 degrees for our daytime highs, so still running uh, above average uh, for this time of year. That'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.